People paying their transport is the least they could do. They're not paying for anything else. Like, the people are actually going to be at the wedding are getting a meal, free meal, free course meal for free. Your alcohol's not going to be free, but it's a good day for the sake of your travel cost. Alison heads back home to see if Lauren and T can help find the money by tomorrow. So he's asked if to come up with 850 quid. By tomorrow, I'm going to make to go said, up with that. It's impossible. So what, he's asking you to beg people for money? No, he's not asking me to beg people so for what, money. Then you don't he's get come it. and asked me to see if I can help. Tell him to sort out himself. It's not your problem. Why is he putting this stress on you for? Because he's got enough stress on his own plate and he's just come to ask for help. That's so what happens when you plan a wedding. Wait, where's car? Broken down on the motorway. The one that was supposed to be picking Lauren up and your dad up. So what now then? Where's your dad? Then? Yeah, is he there yet? Yeah, he's here. Worst comes to worst, could he not take her? You want us to ask Pete? Cheers, thank you. Bye. Yeah. Thanks, bye. Where's car's broken down on the motorway? Sir, are you okay to take Lauren? Yeah, okay fine. You're going with Dad. So I've got to go in my wedding dress in Dad's car. It's so actually taking the actual home. absolute piss. Ring him back and tell him I'm not fucking coming. You think I'm joking? I'm not joking. Hello? Now we've got a problem. Why? She's just being married. She will not go in my dad's car. Tell her straight, yeah? If she don't get in one of them cars, then she ain't getting married. That's as simple as it is. All right, then. Right, right, right. Do not repeat, he said, if you don't get in that car, you're not getting married. Yeah, definitely. Do not repeat that. So basically, Lauren said, if you don't, if you don't get in the car, you're not getting married. Nicely done. They can get fucked, cos this is pissing me off. So, what's it going to be? I'll just grab my dad's car, fuck it. Mm. Oh, why are they white? You tell me. I'm meant to be the only one in white. And I can see your knickers. I ain't got any on. <laughs> Why a jumpsuit? Mm. I do like him, but just not for bridesmaids. Well, no one will be upstaging her at the moment, as she's already running late. And while the guests are making their way onto a cold and windy beach in their wedding best, Courtney is getting restless. Come on, man, I want to get this started now. Well, your wife's running. No flare, bro. I need a drink that me. I'm like, hours later. I think the arch is very good on the heart. <laughs> two hours later, yes, two hours, Lauren is finally ready to leave and she needs to get a shift on. Or, alternatively... I'm going to stop off at this McDonald's. <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm starving. Go for drive, drive for a ticket. Oh, yeah. Can I have a single cheeseburger, please? No, not yet. I'm on my way. <laughs> Hour and a half before the tide yeah, comes in and takes all chairs out. Come on, Lauren, hurry up and get down here. Hansa. We're going to Hansa. I can't think of anywhere to get married in Hansa. I need another burger. I feel sick. We're here now. Oh, I don't like this. I'm here now. That's you it. know. Everyone, keep us. Oh, I see boats and people that I don't know. Oh, I can see a horse and carriage. Yeah, you see. Oh, is this is this for me? Uh, obviously. Oh, I can't even stretch my legs that far. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm freezing. I feel like a princess now. There you go. Go to the beach. I was not expecting this at all. Oh, it's right in the middle of the beach. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my God, everyone's going to see me get out. <gasps> oh, God, I'm so nervous. 